the UPS bypass. It's a Kurt Key system. Um, in essence, the UPS would be placed into static bypass. Once it was in static bypass, then you would utilize this to lock it out. In essence, bypassing the electricity around the cabinet so that you could do maintenance on the UPS. Maintenance should only be done by a qualified person, okay? So this is the bypass cabinet. You just follow the simple instructions. They're right here. Step one would be to place the unit in static bypass. That would be done by utilizing the touch screen. All right? So the UPS, it's pretty simple to operate. You touch the screen, it lights up. The only thing the user should actually be doing is checking the meters. It gives you your input, your output. If you want to get a little more in depth, you can hit the, the button on the input. It spreads everything out for you a little bit. Pretty easy. 24 hours, 7 days, 30 days. Uh, it gives you a graph, gives you the numbers. Same thing on the output side. It also gives you a quick ready reference on what the load is, what your power factor is at the time, and your efficiency rating. This is a very user friendly. And with that being said, if you have any type of alarm, your best bet is to leave it alone and call up a qualified person, which would be somebody at Titan Power, or you could call the, the Eaton Powerware rep directly. They have an 800 number. They'll probably refer you back to us initially because we're closer. Um, but it's, it's pretty simple. If this thing's an alarm, you can silence the alarm, but that's all I would do. If anything major happens, this unit will put itself into bypass, and then you could lock it out utilizing the Kurt Key system. And again, if it puts itself to bypass and you need to lock it out, you can just follow those directions. It's pretty simple. Does anyone have any questions? Contact numbers right there. Right there. Yeah, this unit, what the UPS does is it cleans your power, and in case of an outage, it acts as a bridge until your generator starts up, utilizing the batteries. There's batteries right here in these cabinets. If one of the batteries is bad, this thing will pop a breaker in the individual battery. So, uh, uh, what is there, three, four strings of batteries? So it would, if there was one bad battery in one cabinet, it would see that and open that breaker just for that cabinet. So you'd have to have a separate incident in four different cabinets in order for all the batteries to go away. Uh, I, think there's, I think this was, was made to hold your full load up for, I believe, 27 minutes? 50? 50. 15. Sorry. 15 minutes <laughs> um, so even if one string went down you still have plenty to keep you until your generator that generator's probably going to start <laughs> and again if you lose a cabinet you lose about 25 percent of that correct time. correct any other questions again if, if there's if there's any issues at all your your best bet is you can silence the alarm because it'll be annoying um, but then make a phone call. Jim's right there. He always answers his phone. <laughs> What's that? No. No. There's. They're being. They're being monitored. Yeah. There's an interface. Definitely.